I found that um, most actors are immature, but th this bunch was honest and immature. From intense roles on the silver screen to an equally captivating life off camera, today we're delving deep into the captivating lifestyle and impressive net worth of one of Hollywood's most versatile actors, Tommy Lee Jones. Trap in for a cinematic journey as we uncover the intriguing story behind this Academy Award-winning legend's wealth and way of life. Tommy Lee Jones, born September 15, 1946, is an American actor. While fame somewhat eluded him for much of the 1970s and 1980s, Jones established himself as a leading man in the 1990s. Known for his gruff and authoritative film roles, He's received various accolades, including an Academy Award, a Golden Globe Award, a Primetime Emmy Award, and two Screen Actors Guild Award. Remind me of my children at, the, at that age. They reminded me a bit of the friends, the children of some of my friends who are children. Now let's talk about his interests and favorite hobbies. He owns some sculptures by James Earl Fraser and Alexander Femister Proctor. He has a Rolex Submariner that cost around $10,000. Jones is a lover of horses and owns a ranch in Texas where he breeds and trains polo ponies. He also has a dog named Harley. Jones is a fluent Spanish speaker. At the 2000 Democratic National Convention, he gave the nominating speech for his former college roommate Al Gore as the Democratic Party's nominee for President of the United States. The director of Under Siege only agreed to make the film because Jones had more screen time than Steven Seagal. He has a tailor on Seville Row in London. The famous street is the home of some of the world's most respected tailors. Some of his favorite artists are Willie Nelson, Bob Dylan, The Rolling Stones, and Ludwig van Beethoven. Some of his favorite books are Moby Dick, War and Peace, The Rise and Fall of the Third Reich, and the collected poems of Robert Frost. He also enjoys playing polo and is an avid supporter of the San Antonio Spurs. No longer babies. Um, my, uh, pick any day of their lives and, and you, you'll, that would be my favorite. Let's see how he's getting on with his friends and family. Jones was married to Kate Lardner, the niece of screenwriter and journalist Ring Lardner Jr. from 1971 to 1978. He has two children from his second marriage to Kimberly Cloughley, the daughter of Phil Hardberger, former mayor of San Antonio. On March 19, 2001, he married his third wife, Dawn Laurel. His mother, Lucille Marie Jones, was a police officer, school teacher, and beauty shop owner, and his Welsh father, Clyde C. Jones, was a cowboy and oil field worker. He was roommates with Al Gore at Harvard and remains friends with them. Diving in Okinawa, I've been to Kanazawa, and I've been to Kyoto five, six times. Uh, I, I enjoy all of Tokyo. I mean, all of Japan, not just Tokyo. With that being said, let's discuss how he earns money. Tommy Lee Jones is, without a doubt, one of the most recognizable faces in Hollywood. He starred in many memorable films over the course of his career. In 2007, he earned $10 million from Men in Black, while in 2003, he appeared in the film U.S. Marshals, which helped him earn $17 million. Tommy Lee Jones has established quite a reputation for himself in Japan as the spokesperson for Suntory. Since 2006, he's appeared in a series of Suntory commercials as a character called Alien Jones. These hilarious commercials involve Jones checking in on humanity's progress as an alien with special powers. He has a net worth of $100 million. Now get ready to take a virtual tour of his houses. In 2002, Tommy purchased separate parcels of land in Wellington, Florida for $4.62 million. He then combined them into one massive estate spanning 50 acres with miles upon miles of horse trails. In addition, there's an 11,000 square foot four bedroom house on the property with all the amenities a major celebrity might need. The main house features a state-of-the-art kitchen, hardwood floors, and floor-to-ceiling windows on all sides. Tommy Lee Jones' house also comes with a regulation-sized polo field, where he often plays polo with his local team. There are also 48 stalls to accommodate the many horses that frequent the ranch for matches. 
Surrounding the main structure of Tommy Lee Jones' house, there are also multiple horse trails. In 2013, Tommy put this estate on the market for $26.75 million. Six years later, he took a more realistic approach, relisting the property for a slashed price and eventually settling on a fee of $11.5 million. Jones resides in Terrell Hills, Texas, a city just outside of San Antonio, and speaks Spanish. He owns a 3,000-acre cattle ranch in San Saba County, Texas, and a ranch near Van Horn, Texas, which served as the set for his film, The Three Burials of Melquiades Estrada. Here are the cars you'll find in his garage. A Ford F-150. Chevrolet Suburban. A Toyota Land Cruiser. Porsche 911. A Ferrari 458 Italian. A Rolls Royce. A Range Rover. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching it. But don't stop here. There's more where that came from. Check out our other videos for more great content.